everyone i wanted to make this video because i know a lot of you have got a lot of things going on at the moment so all my international followers i know a lot of you are sitting exams right now i think some of you sat a biology paper today you're all in different time zones so it gets very confusing to keep up with what's going on but i wanted to make this video to kind of give you a video that you can comment on at the end of all your exams in this exam season so every time you finish an exam come here share your thoughts in the comments below say what paper you sat and i'm sure that will start a dialogue with lots of other students from around the world so that's primarily what this video is for people finding out about oxford and cambridge as well Ooh, fingers crossed for you guys let me know how you got on too for everyone with your exams coming up and i know that's a lot of you just a few last minute words of advice stay calm Breathe deeply before you turn over that paper and whatever you do, answer every single question, okay? That is my number one piece of advice. This, there is no room for feeling nervous about your answers, worrying about if they're silly or not. You are a number to the examiner. They have no idea who you are, whether you're male or female, what country you're based in. This is not the place to be shy with your answers or to feel silly write everything i do not want any left out questions because as we know that is zero marks automatically whereas if you have a good guess at it you never know these mark schemes can be pretty silly sometimes you're most likely going to get rewarded for having a bash at it so yeah that's my first piece of advice obviously make sure that you don't miss any questions when you turn over look on the back of the paper i get too many comments saying i didn't realize there were questions on the back pace yourself check out the mark allocation look at the time frame you've been given and make sure that you're around halfway through that paper or thereabouts when you're halfway through the allotted time so yeah just general pieces of advice like that with physics i always say if you're asked to explain something try and provide an equation that's appropriate with bio avoid repeating yourself unnecessarily stuff your answers with very key specific scientific terms and with chemistry use your periodic table Think about what an electron is, think about its charge, think about its mass and how that can't contribute to the overall mass number of an atom. Think about how the proton and the neutron number are needed for that mass number, but that it's actually only the proton number that dictates the element. As soon as that proton number changes, you have a new element, and that's something to be aware of in the radioactivity part of the physics specification as well. So if you want more general kind of advice videos like this let me know in the comments below because that's what i'm thinking of the top of my head but really this video is here comment after every single exam let me know how you got on what questions you found easy what questions you found hard but good luck you'll be brilliant